Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. Happy to have you all here. It's a warm, humid day in Princeton, New Jersey, where we are. Uh, I know a lot of you have joined from different parts of the country or are joining in. Um, so hopefully you have nice weather wherever you are. We are in the middle of the summer. But uh, welcome to the webinar. Um, I am Rohit Mathur, co-founder of Fieldworker, along with Prabhat Vesh, my partner here with me today. Also with us, we have Sunny Nair uh, from the customer success team at Fieldworker and Anne Murtha, our senior account executive uh, as well. Um, we are looking forward to this webinar. Some of you may have attended our past webinars and some of you are new. Uh, but either way, welcome, and hopefully we can uh, do something valuable for all, all, all of you. Um, my family, just by way of background, my family has personal experience with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and I'm familiar with the challenges that, that some of the clients that we serve and their families face. Um, in addition to that, uh, we at Fieldworker continuously work intimately with case management organizations who are working with many different types of cases. So we have familiarity from different perspectives um, with this as well. Um, we would like to keep today's webinar very informal um, and we welcome you know, any questions that you might have, just drop them in the chat or the Q&A window. We are keeping an eye on that. We are happy to answer your questions as we go along. If there are something specific to your cases, that you do not want to talk in a public forum about, then drop us your email. Um, you can add information with it or drop uh, a note in the in the in the Q and A uh, or chat window uh, with your email and phone number, and we are happy to talk to you separately as well. Um, uh, we 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 have experience with so many different scenarios and cases. Um, from an agenda perspective. Um, what we are going to do is I'm going to talk about uh, transforming uh, client care, the, the some of the best practices in case management for a few minutes. Um, we're going to talk about how we can leverage technology to alleviate and solve some of the challenges and problems that we face. And then what we are going to do is we're going to talk, show you actually go into the product of Fieldworker and show you how uh, some of our uh, case managers, some of the case management organizations are using our platform to actually solve real world problems and make a very valuable impact on the community that we are serving. So, so, so let's get this started. Uh, again, any questions that you have, it's an informal discussion, please feel free to drop them in here. Um, it's going to be, the, the whole webinar is going to be about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. At the end, we have put a few minutes aside for Q&A as well. And we are, of course, if you drop us your uh, contact details in the chat, we are happy to take those separately as well. Uh, so, so, so let's uh, let's uh, let's start moving. You know, you may be a case manager, you may be, you know, uh, or a specialist in case management, like a support coordinator. Um, you may be working with, you know, mother and infants, expectant mothers and infants. Um, you might be a center of living. Uh, working with youth and their families, uh, cancer patients, you may be a guardian, um, you may be working with homeless. There's so many hosts of complex cases that, you, that you're working with. You have your hands full. Um, and I'm pretty sure that each of you are dealing with unique challenges uh, as, care, as case managers uh, or case, uh, case workers. Um, but at the end of the day, we are all working to make sure that the right services are provided to your individuals and families when they need it. And 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 this this graphic and this this image I just I just like because it it talks to the complexity of the situations um, that we deal with. Right, some of the 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 complex cases that we deal with, uh, and 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 we are dealing with puzzles. Uh, the pieces are constantly moving uh, as as humans change, and 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 occasionally uh, there are crises as well that we have to deal with. Um, so 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 we are you know that's that's uh, that's something uh, we have to to be superhuman to deal with some of these situations. Um, and as as we all know, right, the importance of uh, client centered uh, planning. 
um, at Fieldworker uh, as an example, right? We work with a foundation uh, which works with pediatric cancer patients, just as way of example, right? Their needs require them to track information, not only about the individual uh, that they're dealing with, uh, but uh, but all their siblings, the entire family, and the overall impact on them, right? So the care is across the family, not just the individual. Uh, you might be working with, you know, expectant mothers who are concerned about prenatal health or with youths in crisis. Again, there are so many different scenarios that you work with, but keeping our focus on the unique needs of the clients is a constant that we must always face, right? You need, and the key thing here is cases are complex. Sometimes they last a long time. Uh, we need to capture all the unique needs of the individual that we are serving and their families. Unique, they, they're all unique individuals. They all have their unique needs. Uh, we need to capture that information. We need to keep it at our fingertips at all times. Uh, we need to report on it and we need to make decisions based on it. And some of these things are so critical. If done well, they can make a case uh, uh, easier to handle. I wouldn't say that, that that it's relatively easier to handle, right? So importance of clients and their families. Uh, we must build trusting relationships, develop the care plan, um, and, and, then, then, and then constant monitoring, right? At the end of the day, we want all the information uh, from the agencies that we work with for the individual, and we want to empower our individual as much as we possibly can, right? Some of these things, and, and the thing is, we we need to think of what are the tools that we can use to do this well, right? That is, that is key. Uh, we are overwhelmed. There is so much work that we need to do. And if we have tools that make our life easier, we should think about those. Effective communication throughout the process, right? Uh, what are some of the uh, solutions, right? Uh, we we all know the need for effective communication, but what what are how do we how do we do it, right? Clarity. Uh, we must clearly define roles, responsibilities, and expectations, right? Uh, between the service providers who we are working with, case managers, the family members, active listening. These are things that we need to keep in mind ensuring everyone's input is heard and understood, right? Uh, proper summarization. We must document information well so that we can summarize it well, right? And summaries are something that can be um, uh, sent over uh, to family members, to, to service providers, so that everybody is always on the same page. Proper documentation of all the communication that is ongoing. And of course, ongoing follow-up and tracking of everything that is going on regular check-ins to monitor progress, make necessary adjustments. We work with many organizations, for example, who work with intellectually and developmentally disabled individuals, right? And in those cases as well, um, you know, involving the entire family is a must, right? The individual might be nonverbal, individual might be, uh, might have might have other complex needs as well. So case managers, uh, so so uh, talking about specialist case managers, such as support coordinators, um, they have uh, special documentation requirements, right? And it is important to look for tools, et cetera, that will help us do that well. If you realize two things, 70% of the work that we do is administrative work. And the amount, if we can reduce that work, we can focus so much more on our clients and deliver a much better impact in the community and on the individual. And, and these are, so so we should think about our challenges. We would love to, actually, if you if you have specific challenges that you think about, do write, do write in the, in the, in the notes, in the chat uh, window. We are happy to talk about them as well. Um, specific challenges that you face, uh, what are the difficult areas, is uh, complexities that you are dealing with. We would, we would, we would love to hear from you as well. Um, so please do uh, as well, right? Um, and of course, coordination and collaboration, that is something that we need to do every step of the way. Uh, uh, whether we are developing a transition plan for a young adult, uh, whether somebody is moving from a school to independent living, um, whether we are a center for independent living, 
uh, having having uh, working within with youth uh, uh, or or to to help them in a vocational training. There are so much coordination required between agencies, between employers, between uh, even even the grant givers to us, uh, and and for all of this, we need to make sure that we have all the information that we need at all the time. Uh, where is our information? It's scattered all over the place. How do we consolidate that information and keep it in one place? How do we summarize it? How do we make it available uh, as and when we need it? These are some of the things that we really need to think about, right? Um, how, how is our team working? At the end of the day, as case workers, as case managers, what are we doing? We are coordinating care uh, across so many different silos who are all working at different speeds, different uh, agendas, and we need to bring it all together. And for all this, this is very, very important. What 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 is key is uh, that we can leverage technology to help us with a lot of this. Uh, 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 there have been so many advancements now, right? And and technology can 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 really help us in these areas. If you think about it, uh, we have um you know uh, all the documentation uh, that we require to do uh, can be streamlined uh, we can track and monitor clients we need to consolidate information it can be kept it kept in one place of course we have to be cognizant of regulatory requirements around hipaa around data security all these things can be can 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 be helped with technology uh, even communication right uh, we want to make sure that we keep everyone in the in the care continuum, uh, the family members, the individuals, um, the 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 service providers involved and and apprised of the current and latest information. Uh, we want to make sure that information is always available to who needs it when they need it, right? And at the end of the day, we are empowering our clients. What what uh, uh, there are so many things. Across our pillars of case management, you know, assessment, planning, coordination, tracking, all these areas can benefit from technology. Technology can't do our job. Technology can't do your job. Your job is too complex. But technology can assist you in making things easier and 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 improve the impact that 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 you are having. Um, what 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 I'm going to do here? Uh, I'm going to pause for any questions that you might have. Um, if 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 you do, please drop them in the Q and A. Uh, actually, I don't see the Q and A on my screen. Uh, if uh, Prabhat or somebody you see any questions, then please uh, please let me know, and or we can answer them. Uh, but but what we are going to do is we are going to transition now uh, from this to um, to the actual product. Right, we are going to show you. How companies are leveraging field worker uh, to 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 do things uh, easier and better, um, make things easier and better for them. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and uh, Sunny is going to share his screen and go into uh, the product itself. Um, thank yes. you. Again, happy to answer questions as we go along. So please feel free to drop them here. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rob. I could go ahead and share my screen. And good evening, everybody. I will be walking you through the field work of product. So I have just gone ahead and shared my screen here. And yes, we can now start. So this is our login page. We use Microsoft in order to log in. You know, it's in order to be HIPAA compliant. And all our data is stored in military grade databases. So the product is completely HIPAA compliant, as well as we employees go through HIPAA training every year. Now, it's a single sign-on, so every employee would receive, of your agency, would receive their own user ID and password, which they would then use to get into the system. So I'm going to use my user ID and my password to log in as an admin and show you how the view looks like. So just going to hit sign in and say no, and we will now be signed in to the system. When you sign in, this is the view. On the stop, you have the upcoming appointments. So any appointments or a schedule that you have created on the system would be showing up on the home screen. This is the view that every employee would have on the system where they will see any, any schedule that has been assigned to them on the home screen with the address, the client information, and any notes that have been added in will be displayed here. 
we have designations in the system. So we have an admin designation as well as a field worker designation. As an admin, you can see all the client information as well as all the aspects of the system. As a field worker, you would only see client information that you are assigned to. So you can have multiple employees assigned to a single client and I will walk you through more details. True. So on the home screen, we have the upcoming appointments. Below here, we have time sheets. So as your employees enter in the time that they spend with the client, you know, for various activities, as they enter in time, these times will be showed up here on the timesheet page. And can we also, you can also go to various states to see the different time that has been added in for the clients. To the right, we have also the recent notes. So as new notes are added in by your employees, they will be visible here on the home screen, just as a quick note, you know, to see what was the most recent conversation that you've had or your employee has had, that would be displayed in the recent notes. Now coming into the second tab, we have the home projects. So every client would have an active project. The project would be based on their plan. So they can have, you know, based on the SDR document and active plan, you know, sometimes you also have a late renewal of these plans. So on the system, you can always change any information or edit any information as an admin to have the plans show up in ongoing, completed or the late renewal cases. Being an audit system, we never delete information on the system. So the stuff normally moves from an ongoing to a completed or an active to an inactive state. So that would be projects and every client can have multiple projects. So, you know, based on the different services that you are assigned for the client or the different services that you are providing to the client, you can have multiple projects created for a single client. Now, coming into the clients tab, this is the clients tab. We have a list of search bar, a list of active, inactive prospects or dormant clients. So, you know, sometimes you have a clients who are a part of your agency would have not yet been assigned to your agency. So you can always create a client here without a project or a proof plan, and it would show up as a prospect client. Now, we will be looking into the active clients for today's webinar. If you see, if you see to the right, we have a lot of client demographic information being displayed here as well as there are a lot of information that you can store for every client. So Medicaid ID, you know, all of this, the NJ CAT score, behavioral, medical, county, race, ethnicity, all of this information can be stored for a single client record. You have all of this information displayed on the client overview. Below, we also have the recent notes. So any notes which have been added to this client's record would be displayed here through the home screen, on the home screen. The next we have projects. So as I mentioned, every client has based on the SDR document or the plan document or, you know, whatever is the, is the individualized plan that has been defined for the client. You can have a project created. And once the project date ends, if there is no updation, it will move from the ongoing to the completed state. Next, we have tasks. A task is typically a service that you provide to your employees. So, you know, spending time with the employee, whether it's a home visit, you know, any progress that you have made with the client would be mentioned as a task. So you can either have a task, which is preset, and you will check in or check out to that task, or you can also have your employees enter in a timesheet for when the task is already completed in order to just say of what was the progress made during a task. So you have ongoing, and then you have all a list of all the different completed tasks for the client that would be displayed in the in the task tab. Going forward, we have people, which includes the employees. So as I mentioned, you can, in, you can assign multiple employees to a single client. As an admin, you have a view of all the, all the clients, but you can also assign field worker designations to employees, and they would then have access to the client record. Below here, we also have customer contacts. So, you know, family, doctor information, you know, who's the first, the PCP, all of this information for a client can be stored on Field Worker so that you have fast access to, you know, this information as well as your employees do. We also have a mobile app, which is an Android and iOS mobile app, and this information is available through the mobile app. So, you know, in case of an emergency, you have the phone number and the address of the care circle for the client displayed here. Going forward, we have the files. So any documents, you know, the plan documents, any any document that you would like to store for a client can be uploaded to the client record by using the upload button directly through the web app as well as the mobile app. So you can, you know, sometimes if you have a document that you can take a photo of as well from a mobile app and store it to the client record, which is then accessible 
to every employee who has access to this client data or this client record. So you have files anywhere you can upload as many documents as you would like for a client. Now, going forward, we have the case notes. And this is the most important aspect of case management. You know, in order to show progress on how you know, you're working with the client, what is the progress that we that has been made? We have extensive collection of case notes. So you can have, you know, you can assign a case note to just a customer, which will be a generalized case note. You can assign it to a project. So if you have multiple projects, you can assign, you know, which service does this case note relate to, as well as then assign it to a task that has been completed. So, you know, as, as long as you have a task that has been completed or a timesheet, you can assign these notes to a task. Once that is done, you can enter in a note title and also create the note right here. So. We also have Grammarly, so while typing in, your, your system will pick up Grammarly and give you any changes if required. So you can add case notes directly to the case note system right here or through the home page as well, through the recent notes. Going forward, we have the goals. So all the goals that are defined for your customers can be defined on the goals page. So you can define new goals for a client based on the project and then assign a certain task type that helps achieve the goal. So this helps you track the progress that has been made with the client on a specific goal, as well as is displayed during the form creation. So I will walk you through the steps of how this information is available to your employees when creating a timesheet or a form, as it gives them a good view on what exactly would be required during the visit or what information would be good to be entered during a case note. So we have goals. We then have needs. So all of this information, the employee needs, the health needs for a client, the support needs, all of this information can be stored on the client record. And having it in a single place gives you more access to it, as well as it lets the employees know of any, any situation that needs to be dealt with directly through the mobile app and the web app. So they don't need to, you know, look for paperwork, you know, on a piece of paper to see what can be done. All of this information is available to them in a few clicks on the client record itself. Finally, we have forms. So these are the forms that have already been created for our clients. So if I view the form, something like this, you know, an intake form or a client feedback form, you can view this information. We have an intake form as well. You can view this information directly through the screen right here. And I will walk you through how to create forms as well on the system. So you can create multiple forms on the system based on your requirements. So every agency we have seen, you know, likes to have their own intake forms or forms in which they would like to collect information. You can create these forms and assign them to task types so that whenever there is time created, you will be able to access the form. So that's the client overview. Just going over it once again, we have the overview, the recent notes. You then have a project. So any completed project would just be displayed in the completed tab once the project date ends. We then have the tasks. So any ongoing you know, when it gives you a good view of what is currently happening with the client as well. So you have any ongoing tasks being displayed here, as well as any completed tasks. You then have people, which is employees and contacts. So any contact information, and we have a bulk import feature as well. So when, if, if there is a long list of contacts that you have for your, for your clients, we can get all of this in with the bulk import feature. We then have files, which are documents that can be stored for every client record. And finally, case notes being the most important are displayed here. Now, this is the client record that you store and you have access to. So every client would have their own overview projects, tasks, all of this information. Coming in to the forms. So as I, dis as I mentioned for the forms, we have a form builder option where you can create a form based on your requirements. So it's a drag and drop. So for example, you want a text field, you can always create that. Enter in the kind of information you would like. So names, you know, all of this can be stored and a form can be created on the system. As many forms as you like can be created. So we have a lot of advanced functions, layout, as well as data functions in different ways in which you can create a form. And we assist you during the process as well. You know, the onboarding process of setting up an agency comes in with all of these configurations set up. So we meet on a call and go through setting up, you know, the forms. We have a lot of configurations with the way the system operates as well. So we set this up for you in the initial 
set up so that when your employees log into the system, they would only be doing the steps that they would do on a normal basis. So all the setup will be done during the onboarding. Great. So now moving forward, we have, I will just walk through a really easy example of how to enter in time or how some of your employees would be entering in time and creating a note as well as creating a, a, a form for that note. So just as an example, if say I added a timesheet, I've, I've done a visit with a client today, I can add in a timesheet by clicking the addition button. I can select the client who I worked with. I can enter in a task. So title, so I'm saying I had a home visit, you know, with Tim. I can select then the task type. So the task type, again, this list is configurable. So based on the different procedures or you know different task types that you have for your agency, the granularity in what you would like to collect information, we can define it as different task types. So you know, you know, you can go down to have the bath or you know, you had lunch, breakfast, all of that information as task types, which will give you a good idea of what was done during the visit. So I'm just going to say home visit here, the date, and then the duration spent. So as you go for 15 minute units, we have the 15 minute units here. So I'm just going to say I spend an hour with the client as a home visit and I will say submit. Once I hit the submit button, you will see that the visit shows up here. And to the right, you have a form. So when I click on the form, this is the client form that I have assigned to a task type. So anytime your employees enter in the timesheet and the form needs to be created, they can click and answer these forms. Now, the client goals will also be displayed here by filling in the form. So it's a good reference, you know, by your, for your employees to use when filling in information into the case note form. So a lot of agencies, you know, have a format in which they like to collect case notes. So in order for the case notes to be based on the goals, we give your employees a good reference so that, you know, they can use it while creating this information here. Once this is entered in, you can hit the submit button, which will save the form. So I'm just going to go out and say close. Once the timesheet has been entered in, the next step will be the recent notes. So in order to click a recent note from the home screen itself, you can select the customer, the project, the task that I just entered in. Home visit Tim will also be visible. And I can then create a task or a case note for the client. So I'm just going to say, you know, just as an example, that Tim at home spoke for a while. Now follow up. Now this information will be stored. So when I hit create note, this note has been stored for the client and will show up in the recent note. So if I just hit the refresh button once, you will see that this note shows up as a part of the recent note options. So right here, it gives you a good idea of where you are or what was the most recent conversation with a particular client. So that's how your employees would be entering in their time and completing a case note against this time. Now, going forward, we have the document center as well, which is a secure, so that's more of a admin view where only the admins would have access. So you can create new folders in our document center. You can upload files to certain to particular files or folders, so whether it's a secure or a public folder. The public folder is available to all your employees who are a part of the field worker system. So if there are any documents that you would like to store only as an admin, you can add it to the secure folder. And it's a single click. So when I click, I can save any document, which is a part of my system and upload it to the field worker product. So that would be documents. Any questions up till now? I will just check, let me see. I don't see any questions. So uh, one of the things is, um, I got a note, how do you support field operations? People are out in the field. Uh, yes. So all of this, what we just did on the web app is also available through the mobile app. So for anyone in the field, you know, in order to create, you can, you can access a form through the web app, to the mobile app, sorry. You can add in a timesheet. You can also add a case note. And on the mobile app, we also have the voice to text feature where, you know, they can click the, the microphone on your keyboard and actually talk into the phone to create a case note for a client. So all of this information, as you see on the web app or through a laptop, is also available on the mobile app where every employee would be logging in using their same user ID and password to the system. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll answer one other question uh, while I uh, add to what Sunny has just said as well. 
uh, you think about it, uh, all field worker is a set of tools, right? That are going to make all the uh, information that you need to do your job well a little bit easier, right? We got the documents, you got the case notes, you got time. Um, all this information is together. If if your if your grant givers or the agency needs specific information, forms, questionnaires, or surveys that they want filled out, there are tools like the form builder which will help you collect that information. Uh, so effectively, once you have all this information in, um, you have access to all to everything all the data and it is working in real time so if you're if some of your team is out in the field and they are capturing case notes in the field for for an administrative person who's sitting in the office those case notes on the web app are available in real time they can see them um they can communicate they can they can they can uh, make sure that uh, the individual is getting the care that they need because information is shared in real time across the field. We are HIPAA compliant to answer another question. All the data is kept very securely and we are uh, totally HIPAA compliant uh, in the system. It's encrypted um, in, in, on the mobile app during the transmission and in storage. Um, the, all the information is on the cloud uh, under Microsoft Azure. Um, so we have Microsoft security um and uh and and none of the information is is out of compliance at any point in time um yes to another question um uh, we do so once the information is in the system we have extensive reporting and you can you know we can we can we can show you some of the reporting but it is highly customizable as well so you can get access to all this information you might need some of this information for a variety of reasons Let's say you are a center for independent living and you need to file your federal 704 reports uh, or you need to file your reports to the Department of Vocational and uh, Services, DBS. Um, we have all the data in the system. We have many reports which come out of the box from the system as well. Uh, and But if your agency has specific needs for let's say a private grant giver, who wants information in a certain format, wants to have access, we can do that as well. So, so extensive reporting on all the information that is collected, uh, and it again makes life easier for you, takes away a lot of the administrative burden as well. Yes, yes. And just to add to Rohit's point about reporting, right, we have, as Rohit mentioned, a lot of default reporting on the system. So, you know, caseload report, a timesheet report of all the stuff that has been done by our employees, Associated case notes are displayed here as well. We have reporting here. We also have extensive reporting regarding, you know, any planned renewal, any client plans expiring. You know, we have the task report, which is again a list of all the different services that have been provided to your to your to your car clients. As a case manager, you also have access to the notes. So if I if I pick up a certain client and say search, it will show you a report of all the notes in a certain format. So this is one of the service that, one of the reports that we have customized, where you will see a list of all the different notes that have been added in for the client. Now, again, as the reports are customizable, we build reports for certain agencies. So based on your requirement, you know, as we're collecting all of the information, you know, we collect all of the different information, the employee, the form, as, as you would like a report on this, we would just display it. So we do take custom reports as well. Then we have finally the timesheet, which is again the time or the number of hours that your employees are spending with a certain client. And every report of us has an export option. So you can always export every report as a CSV or a PDF directly through the screens by adding in a filter for a custom report too. So that is a possibility as well through the system. Yeah, the 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 whole idea. Actually, one of the things that I forgot to 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 mention as well is that please uh, drop us your information. Um, we have an ebook as well that that is uh, published, which is uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, tips for running a, 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 a case, successful case management uh, team. Uh, and uh, we, we are happy to share that with you uh, as well. So please uh, drop us your contact information uh, and we, we will we will talk. Uh, and get that information to you as well. Um, 
Um, another question, we do integrate with uh, systems that you might already have. Uh, we, we are an open platform as Sunny showed, uh, information can be exported uh, from any of the reports and we, we make our, our system quite open. Uh, so if the, you have existing systems, we can integrate with them as well. But at the end of the day, uh, the objective here is uh, to incorporate all the best practices of case management uh, in a system which enables you to deliver, uh, uh, make your life easier and deliver uh, more impact, right? That That is the whole idea. And we are trying to get uh, uh, those tools in your hands so that you can use them very easily. Uh, that's that's uh, that's the, the the net objective of this whole exercise. Uh, uh, Pr Prabhat or uh, Anne, would you like to add anything more here to the webinar? Uh, Prabhat, I believe you are on mute if you are speaking. Yes, indeed. Okay. All I was saying is that we had some uh, great questions and I think uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, items that or points that somebody may be interested in finding out may already have been covered. I'll point out just two small things here. One is um, ours is a company and a product is sized for you specifically. Uh, we do not expect that you're coming here with a large IT solution or IT team behind you. We do not expect that you have a huge team that can help you. So we have kept the simplicity in mind. Uh, the product is open in the sense that it can be made to work with your specific situation. And we have a great team that actually help you do that. And I'll let and to follow up with that. Uh, before Anne jumps, say, jumps in, I'll, I'll just add something in here. Uh, that's a very va good point that we have uh, individuals who are using our system and we have teams of case uh, uh, working organizations with hundreds of employees who are using our system. So we are, uh, you know, uh, individual case worker, case manager versus large teams. Thank you, Rohit. Thank you, Pratt. Um, To jump in here from a customer service level, uh, we take pride in our level of customer service that we provide, especially in a transition such as this. Uh, we'll walk you through and support your team as you're transitioning over to field worker. Uh, we host weekly uh, meetings with you. We will troubleshoot on the fly and then, of course, uh, you know, work with you to get your team up and running as quickly as possible. Great. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. If there are any other additional things that we did not cover, uh, please uh, drop us uh, an email uh, and uh, we are happy to talk to you offline uh, to discuss your unique case and, and work with you on that. Thank you very much, everybody.